at multiplying fractions. So let's start with this first one. I've actually got the first two examples that are the same, but I'm going to show you two different methods. Okay, the first method I'm going to show you is very simple. We're just going to multiply the numerators together, which is the top. So I'm going to get 10 and the denominators together. So 8 times 7 is 56. And then I've got to take that answer and I've got to reduce it. Okay, both of these are even, so I can divide them by 2. So let's divide each one of these by 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 56 divided by 2, that's going to give me 28. So that would be my final answer, is 5 28. And you, again, you can use a calculator to do some of that reducing. Now let me show you a second method to do this one. Instead of going ahead and multiplying across, I can actually cancel and reduce this before I multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for common factors with any term in the top with any term in the bottom. Well, 5 and 8 can't reduce, and 2 and 7 can't reduce, but 2 and 8 can reduce. Both of them are divisible by 2, so I'm going to go ahead and divide 2 by 2, and I'm going to get 1, and I'm going to divide 8 by 2, and I'm going to get a 4. Now, once you've reduced, you can take the new factors and multiply them together. So 5 times 1 is 5, and 4 times 7 is 28. And we get the same answer, but we don't have to do that reducing step because we do it before. So we go ahead and reduce it before we multiply. Okay, let's look at the second, or number three. Number three is very easy to see some common factors. I can see that 11 and 22 can reduce. So let's go ahead and reduce those. 11 goes into itself one time, and 11 goes into 22 two times. And then 3 and 9 can both reduce. So 3 goes into itself once, and 9 divided by 3 goes 3 times. Now let's multiply the numerators together. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. So 2 thirds is my final reduced answer. Okay, let's try one more of those. We have 5 twelfths and 3 twentieths. Okay, 5 and 12 won't reduce, 3 and 20 won't reduce, but 5 and 20 do reduce. So let's divide each one of those by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. Uh, 3 and 12 both reduce. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. And now let's multiply our numerators together. 1 times 1 is 1. And 4 times 4 is 16, so the answer would be 1 16th. So there you go. That's how you can multiply fractions.